And welcome back to Idaho Today, a new three-part series titled American Historia, the untold history of Latinos delves into the rich and often overlooked contributions of Latino communities throughout American history. Idaho Today entertainment producer April Neal talked with actor John Legazamos about the filmmaker and the project. Take a look at this. Thank you for joining us on Idaho today. You know, you guys couldn't have come at a better time with this incredible story. And I'm a history nerd, I don't know about you, but I love history when it's told with passion and with, with veracity. And that's what you bring, John. Um, please talk about this visual history book that you, you've created with these incredible real life characters that I want to know more about. You know, John Hopkins University and Unidos Haas did a study and found that 87% of Latino facts are, of our contributions to the making of the U.S. are not in history textbooks. That's a lot missing. And we put it all in this series. The fact that we, uh, the only ethnic group to have fought in every single war America's ever had, 10,000 unknown Latino patriots out of 80,000 total troops fought in the American Revolution. We funded the American Revolution with $2 million from Spain, Cuba, and Mexico. So we are the sons and daughters of the American Revolution. We helped build the, the infrastructure, all the railroad, all the way to the Pacific after our Asian brothers and sisters were kicked out. And we had great activists in the 1800s and the 1900s, mostly women, teaching us how to unionize, saving children, being journalists. I mean, our contributions are endless to the making of this country. But, but not, no longer invisible. Thankfully so. I mean, Ben, you you booked so many incredible uh, actors, you know, uh, Benjamin Bratt and James, Edward James Olmos and, and Rosie Perez and Brian Cranston. I mean, the list is endless. And In terms of the celebrities, I gotta give credit to John because John's cell phone is, uh, is full of a lot of incredible contacts and he was able to tap into it and people like Brian Cranston and Lawrence Fishburne and they were willing to lend their, their voices, their time, their efforts and we're so grateful to it because look, we're, we're trying to educate and enlighten the audiences but we also want to entertain them, right? So that I thought helped round it out in a better way. What you know, I, I wanted to treat it like we Latino people were on trial. That's how I really wanted to do the show. Uh, and uh, so I wanted to have witnesses, testimonies, evidence, and we fished out as many quotes as possible to bring it to life. And then, you know, all, all these incredible friends of mine who are allies to the Latin community, uh, it, it just warms my heart that Lawrence Fishburne, Liev Schreiber, Rosa Perez, Rosario Dawson, Brian Cranston, Ethan Hawke, I mean, they jumped in. That, those are friends. Eurocentric history uh, distorts and omits so much. Um, have you have we made any real progress with the the public education at least in this country? Things have not changed as as much as we'd hoped. Obviously, you know, with all the attacks on critical race theory and all these these BS attacks on on really saying what happened. Our history, American history textbooks are a fiction. And until they include all the great contributions by Afro-Americans and Latinos in this country, it won't ever be accurate because we both groups helped build this country. It wouldn't be America without us. I mean, we built the railroads all the way from the Mississippi to the Pacific after our Asian brothers and sisters were kicked out. We've been all farming and building all the infrastructure in the Southwest and the West. One of the things that we're really proud of is that working with PBS has given us a platform now that this actual project and the curriculum behind it is going to be distributed to over 10,000 schools. So we hope that it does help move the needle because we need to really let our children and the next generation know the accurate facts about history. What have you learned about your own personal history while making this? I mean, I could see your passion and your interests. Well, you know, I grew up feeling uh, that I was in a void and othered constantly you know you, you're in your class with your cl a classroom with your classmates and they're learning all about you know white literature white history and then there's no latin anything and all your friends are latin and black but we're not learning anything about ourselves and you feel very othered and and and, and made small you made to feel very small so when i saw this history i felt big i felt like a giant i felt like wow I can't wait to pass this on to my kids, my grandkids, and to all Americans. Because I, I think we're stronger when we're together and when we appreciate and respect each other. <laughs> 